it's arrived the time to talk a little bit about my research okay i have a lot of answers about you about my research what I, what is my research with what i apply my math something like that so uh i just uh, i just want to say a little bit just a little bit this video will be a kind of short video it's a, it's a kind of introduction video about my research so i i believe that it's a a good video to start to understand what i mean when I say I work with MET apply in nuclear reactors. Yes, I work with nuclear reactors. Okay, I'm theoretical, but we can start just like that. So what's, what means in other words, MET? Okay, apply to nuclear reactors. I mean, if you have a nuclear reactors, how can apply MET inside this process? So, to start this, we need a nuclear reactor. For example, I will put here just a fuel scheme for a vessel inside a nuclear reactor. Okay? Okay, this is our vessel. Okay? In this vessel, we have a lot of things. For example, here. We can call this one for um, reactor core, okay? It's our kernel of the system. We have a vessel like a cylinder, just to start the process, and we have a lot of things inside this reactor core. For example, we can uh, exemplify here. For example, here we have a 3D view. It's easy to see that. And here we can put, for example, uh, just a a little bit approximate on to what means the 2D view. For example, here we have a 2D view, okay? The 2D view of this process is it's like a top view of the system, like a view from here, okay? So here we can understand this process like an axis, we can put like a X, and here we can put Y, okay? And so we have a kind of hexagonal, uh, small regions like squares for example we have here just a little bit like a big square we have a rectangle here and we have a lot of regions like this one okay so here we can understand that this kind of regions will change inside the reactor any region can be something like a different material for example this is each region Okay, but to start this process, we need to understand other things first. For example, MET applying nuclear reactors. What mean when I say nuclear reactors? I mean, we have some process, some interesting process, physical process here. In this process it starts with fission nuclear or nuclear fission. The fission, it's our thing here. How can I explain the fission for you? This is a simple thing. For example, when you have a neutron, we can imagine a neutron here and this fission, this process will start with this neutron, just collided in another thing. In this thing, our thing is our fuel. In this case, for example, like uranium. In this uranium, we have a lot of properties. For example, can be uranium-235 or uranium-238, depends. In nuclear reactor, we have a enriched uranium, like a 5%, for example, and the uranium, natural uranium, like a 95%, for example. And when we collide the neutron in this uranium in our fuel, this is important for us, this is a fuel, okay? We have a partition into other and new things. We can call this process like a fission process, and have here two other things. For example, can be other atoms we call fission product. Fission product. Fission product one, fission product two. Okay? And this process can continue if we understand that here we have other two new neutrons. And two new neutrons can be partitioned in both cases for more two. And this process continues and continues. And we have more and more atoms here. And here, the more, most important thing is that here we have a lot, but a lot of energy 
And this energy can be concentrated in exactly this region, for example. Okay? And here we have a lot of liberation of energy. So here we had energy, okay, plus radiation. Okay? So this is a simplified process to understand what happens here. And of course, maybe you just know this process. This process of physics is very famous, for example, in nuclear atomic bomb. Yeah, unfortunately. And here we have the same process that happens inside the nuclear atomic bomb in the fission process inside the nuclear reactor. What means if I say, what is the difference between the two processes? The two processes start to the difference here. For example, we have in nuclear atomic bomb, exactly in nuclear atomic bomb, we have the difference between enriched uranium. For example, we have uranium 235, like a 95%, okay, and uranium 238, like a 5%. Okay, it's a lot of difference here, of course. And here we have no control. Inside the nuclear reactor, we have a lot of control of this process. We need to control this process. Instead of turns just a nuclear reactor bomb. Okay? And here we need to take a control. That's the difference. Here we have an explosion. Okay? It is not good. So what we need here to understand this entire process? We need to, two things ex exceptional. We need to control. Okay, and this control comes to a balance, and balance comes to equation for our mathematicians. So this equation is very special, but here we have an equation, a special equation, a Boltzmann transport equation. Okay, that start to study this transport equation to gas, but here we use to neutrons. Okay, and here we have to understand, we need to understand this balance to understand all this process inside nuclear reactor. So this balance can be understood, for example, when we take this equation. Let me see here, equation just put like that, okay? And this equation, we start to, to small things. For example, we have a perfect balance here to understand all this process. And this process starts when, for example, we need to understand here we have one term, this is one by velocity of neutron, derivative of space, uh, of time, sorry. And here, for example, this is velocity of neutron. Of course, this is so big. Here we have the flux. That depends of position. That depends other things, not only of position, for example, depends of the time, depends of energy, and depends of direction. That's very important. And here we have just the first term. After this, we have plus, Another term that is direction, okay, inner cross like derivative of position that this operator depends of the coordinates. For example, here we have to understand that these coordinates can be Cartesian, can be in this lab, we can be we can describe this process in just one direction, one coordinate, and one special coordinate, but we can be approximate like for example cylindrical coordinates. For example, if you took here like approximate like a cylinder, we can use the radius and the angles. That's the pants, okay? And this process continues here and here, this operator depends of the coordinates, okay? And more than this, we have one more here, that is this term, sigma t, that here, this is the cross section, or total cross section, okay? total cross-section of this process. Total cross-section is the probabilistic cross-section to interaction between the neutrons occurs, okay? And here we have, of course, the flux and more other things, or equal other things. This other things is the right side of the balance equations. Is the, the right side of balance equations you can, can describe here. For example, we have an integral, or better than these two integrals, one integral in all energies other integral in all directions is for multiply by p and we have here the cross section of scattering okay cross section 
of scattering or scattering cross section and multiply by flux that can be change direction for the new directions okay and of course integrate by directions and integrate by all energies because the neutron have a lot of different energies okay so and more than this we have plus one source okay that is our fuel or in other words our uranium and this source is a source of uranium to balance this entire process okay that is the transport equation of the out process so here we need to understand that for example we have a balance and we have an equation we have the system and how we can solve this equation for example and what more this equation depends it's on the time position energy direction what more okay okay now the important here is just understand how we can solve this equation okay and understand how is the pattern of the solution and here case in our case here we have a little pattern of the solution like a pulsed source for example so we have the flux solution here and we have for example the space x and we have for example a pulse like a half side function for example and here we have the time direction and of course when the time goes on when we have the decayment of the solution like this one for example like this and here we have exactly here the bounds the bounds of reactor the solution can be obtained with a lot of methods for example numerical methods we can use the classical methods like transformer equations like integral transformer equations we can use the spherical ordinate methods we have a lot of methods or different methods to solve this kind of equation so this is an entire and introduction panorama about mat apply in nuclear reactors okay we have more videos i will be more videos i will make more, more videos about that see you in the next time